Parents, you know how difficult it is when your children get sick. Well, you can imagine it's even harder when a child is battling a rare illness. Diana Castillo introduces us to a 12 year old battling a brain tumor, but her family isn't giving up hope. Just by looking at that big smile on her face, you wouldn't believe that at only 12 years old, Asmorel has already faced a huge health battle, one that many will never face. And then it goes around, around right here um, above her ear. So it's just like a, like a C, mm -hmm. like that. Before the surgeries, scars and hospital stays, it all started with a headache something her parents thought was due to allergies. I was giving her Tylenol and uh, um, allergy medication, and I was like, drink water, and it was helping, the Tylenol was helping. But during the second week when that came, and the, ty the Tylenol wasn't helping, and she started having nauseous and vomiting out of nowhere, and I was like, that's not right. Asmorel was quickly taken to her doctor, then the emergency room but they couldn't figure out what was wrong. A week later, she started having seizures, and another trip to the hospital confirmed what no parent wants to hear. Yeah, that's when they found the, the mass, the size of an orange. That mass turned out to be a cancerous brain tumor. It's an embranal tumor with multilayered rosettes, also known as ETMR, and it's extremely rare. There's only about 300 patients accounted for worldwide. Asmeral's case is especially rare. Interestingly, the oldest known patient to get this tumor at 12 years old, usually prior to her, there was no, there's been no documented child older than, than four, and it normally occurs when it does occur. Um, in children less than four. Asmorel has now been through two surgeries, one at the end of February where that tumor was removed. Her parents say she's been a fighter through it all. God did his miracle in her and she's still here with us. Miracle. Because of its rarity, Asmeral's tumor is now being used for further research. And so we're currently working with a team in New Jersey and an expert in this type, particular type of tumor, and also with the team at St. Jude and the team in Denver at Children's Hospital of Colorado to really come up with a comprehensive uh, care plan for her. Asmeral's journey has not been easy. It was just really hard whenever I first had my surgery because I need to learn how to do everything. Everything, like eating, drinking, and walking. The journey is still a long one as she goes into treatment. And while the lows may be low, this family's faith is still high. We're going to make it. We're not giving up. Asmaral's family has to travel out of state for her treatments, the first stop being Colorado. These travels usually come out of pocket. The family has a GoFundMe if you would like to help or if you would like to learn more about Asmaral's story. We will put that info on our website at KOB.com.